say an implant where whatever you put in is what you get, with fat, it's a, it's a, you're living tissue graft. So you're putting it in, it doesn't have a blood supply, but some of it will get a blood supply and a portion of that fat will survive. And on, on average, it's about 30% of what you put in survives. So in the healing process, you, you don't just have swelling, you have the fat, you also have extra fat. And so with fat transfer surgery, it tends to take a little bit longer uh, for that swelling to go down because we're waiting for not just swelling, but an equilibration process where the fat that's gonna survive is gonna survive and the fat that's not is, is, is gonna go down. Again, usually in two weeks you look fine, month you look good, uh, by three months you may feel like that's the end result but there's still little bits of a change little bits of change and it's it's somewhat dynamic the healing process i mean it's fat cells that are taking hold and can get a little bit fuller a little less full and so by a year we really know that's your end result it's going to be there for years and years we, we have seven to ten year results where the volume that was added with fat is still there and it's at that point it's it's just your own fat and it will age with you so the natural aging process is losing volume in your face. So when or would you need another fat transfer? Could be many years down the road. It depends. If you have a big weight loss, it could be sooner. It depends also how, how you age. Mm -hmm.